Hello, I'm Kelly with Martin Fly. You know, there's nothing quite like that perfect cast. There's nothing like seeing that fly land precisely where you intended for it to go and watching that trout rise and take the fly in plain view. But when you connect with your fish and you fight a fish for the first time, it's truly a remarkable moment. For me, it was a life-changing moment and I hope it is for you but they're crafty little guys. They can get off easier than you think. So let's discuss a few ways of fighting a fish. The first thing you wanna remember is that tension in the line is your friend. You want the line to be tight between the tip of the rod and the fish that's fighting against you. You don't wanna to be too powerful and aggressive because in most cases, you're using relatively light line and a relatively small hook, but you do wanna have tension in the line. And you do that typically first by stripping line slowly in with your free hand. You keep it tight, you secure the line with your index finger against the handle of the rod, and with your other hand, you strip in line. Now, on occasion, you're gonna have a large fish, and when you have a large fish, he's got some fight in him, and he'll run, and you can allow him to use that excess line that you've already stripped in to run. And then you can transition to what we call fighting the fish off the reel. In this case, you're gonna reel the fish in with the handle of the reel rather than stripping the line. And when you need to apply tension, you can then apply it to the spool. He'll still have a little bit of fight left in him if he's a big fish and you can allow him to fight when he needs to simply by removing your hand from the handle and applying the perfect amount of tension. The final factor is rod management. I want you to pay key attention to the direction the fish is running relative to the tip of your rod. If the fish is running to the right, you wanna have your rod to the left. And if the fish pivots and moves to the left, you want to respond by moving the rod tip to the right as you continue to manage that line, giving him room to run when he needs to, and retrieving when you have excess line. Good luck, and we'll see you on the water.